following an unusually warm and dry summer and fall. On December 30th, 2021, at 11 a.m., 911 dispatchers in Boulder received a call about a fire near Highway 93 and Marshall Road. The fire was already out of control when the dispatch arrived, and was spreading extremely quickly due to the wind, with gusts up to 115 miles per hour. They called for additional units, but within an hour, the fire chief had ordered the evacuation of all residents two miles downwind of the fire. By noon, the fire had reached Superior, people escaping the stores there with very little warning. Throughout the day, tens of thousands had to be evacuated in Superior, Louisville, and Broomfield. The next night, heavy snow put out the fire just as quickly as it had spread. On the morning of January 1st, 2022, the scale of the fire began to set in. 1,084 structures had been burned, leveling entire neighborhoods to the ground. Yeah, we are. We're back. We're okay. Back. We're leaving let's right load now. up and let's go, okay? okay? The Boulder Sheriff's Office releasing body cam videos showing deputies urgently going door to door. And look at this. The flames sometimes just across the street. The fire devastated the towns of Superior and Louisville, just northwest of Denver two weeks ago. It burned the entire ground area, entire neighborhoods to the ground, destroying more than a thousand buildings, according to fire officials. They say it killed one person and another is still listed as missing. The fire burned an area roughly the size of more than 4,500 football fields in just hours. Deputies had little notice to get as many people out as possible. CNBC's Valerie Castro now with what the deputies saw. All right, this is gonna go up front. It's gonna be tight. And so that kind of squishes the wind, the, the jet stream winds down just above the ridge tops and forces it back down to the ground. So on the Marshall Fire Day, for example, and today, uh, we've got a little bit of that capping uh, and then the, that forces the wind down on just on the lee side of the mountains and gives us those gusts of wind. And right now, you know, we've got the, the calm winds and it's just really sporadic. It just, you know, that occasional time when it hits the ground and that's when we feel it. This year, we may be noticing an uptick. Of course, we're really hypersensitive now because of the, the wildfires. The day the Marshall fire started, uh, very windy day, as we all know, that was a difficult forecast that day. Um, these are always difficult forecasts to, to make for these high wind events, a lot, a lot of nuanced uh, information that we need to go through. Um, so that morning, we did issue a high wind warning for not only the foothills, which is pretty typical, but we also extended that further out onto the plains. You know, that day we did see winds up to 115 miles an hour. So yeah, just a tremendous wind day. Uh, and then you add the, you know, the ongoing drought conditions we've been in, just two bad combinations. And so when that spark lit, the fire was off to the races. The cause of this devastating fire was originally believed to be down power lines following the very high winds of the day. However, during their search of the area, Excel found no down power lines in the area where the fire started. Instead, they found downed communication lines, which would not have been capable of starting a fire. This put investigators back to the drawing board, asking themselves, how did this devastating fire start? Other hypotheses emerged. One potential explanation was that the fire emerged from an underground abandoned coal mine. Another more interesting theory was that the fire came from a burning shed owned by the 12 tribes. The 12 tribes are a fringe Christian sect founded in the 1970s that have often been accused of charges like child abuse, especially during the anti-cult movement. However, the investigation is still ongoing and investigators have not definitively found or proven a cause for the fire. The fire has changed Boulder County permanently. It leveled many integral communities that will never be the same. Over a thousand buildings will have to be rebuilt. Although this presents an opportunity to build newer homes, there have been countless lost memories in those old homes that have been lost forever.